What's going on YouTube? Say I'm back with another Marvel Legends figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Rack, uh, <laughs> Rocket Raccoon uh, Build-A-Figure series. This is the Scarlet Spider. Now I'm a little late on reviewing these figures. I've had the Legend figures for a while, I just haven't gotten to reviewing them. And if you guys watched my Superior Spider-Man review, I'm going to be reviewing a lot of figures, just throwing a lot of different ones out there. There's not going to be a particular order. I just want to catch up on doing, uh, on doing my reviews. Packaging on this is pretty good. It's us. It's you know the legend. It's the uh, previous Marvel Legend packaging that we've you know we all know and love. It's got the artwork right there on the side, which is Jean Grey, uh, Black Panther, and Hawkeye. And this is the Spider-Man that we've already gotten. You know the big time Spider-Man and the Future Foundation Spider-Man, which I know a lot of people didn't like, but me personally, I liked it. Uh, right there's the Scarlet Spider, Marvel Legends. There's the top, really cool artwork of. Uh, Scarlet Spider. So that's the front of the package. Here is the back of the packaging. You got a nice little image again of Spider Man. And right over here it says Does the mask of the Scarlet Spider hide a hero or a sinister imposter? And uh, the other figures right here to collect or connect, collect and connect. That's uh, DC UC. Uh, the Rocket Raccoon. Um, I really hate how Hasbro has been doing their their legends, especially the running changes figures, because we never get the running change figures, which is a bunch of BS to be honest with you. But whatever. Um, so that's the back of the packaging. All right, so I'm going to take uh, Scarlet Spider outside of the package and do a quick little review. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, so here's a quick little 360 look at the Scarlet Spider. There's not really much to say about him that I haven't already said in the other two reviews that I've done on the same sculpt. But we're going to look at it either way. So that's a quick little top to bottom look. I still like how the figure looks. Let's go ahead and take a closer detailed look at him. Okay, so the figure itself does not come with any accessories. There's no build a figure piece to, that comes uh, uh, with him. So there, you don't get a rocket raccoon piece. Um, but either way, again, I really like this figure. I'm not going to lie. I, I love this figure. The sculpt, I think, is great. Maybe just the hand is a little too big on the left, but it's still good. I still like it, and I like the coloring on uh, the figure. I like the black and red, and because uh, the eyes are obviously uh, sculpted on. Head sculpt looks really good. The black paint looks clean. There's a spider logo right there in the front, and you can also make it out um, red in the upper back. But again, I do like how the red and black um, paint go together. And other than that, he's pretty much just red all the way through in the hands he's got you know the red gloves with the black finger tips and that's pretty much it not really much to say about the figure itself as far as the articulation goes we'll go over that really quick the head can go down pretty good doesn't go up too much can rotate and uh, you can kind of tilt it the head does pop off I believe if it doesn't then I break my figure Nah, I'm not going to even try it. The arms go in and out, forward and back. He's got that shoulder articulation right there. Goes forward and back. You can see that right there. Double jointed at the uh, bicep. Rotation in the upper arm. The wrist can rotate and also go in and out. He's got waist rotation and a crunch, which allows him to go forward pretty good. And he goes back pretty good as well. Legs go in and out. Um, forward and back, double jointed at the knees, rotation at the upper leg, the foot, they have the ankle rockers of course, and he does have uh, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Now this, again, is really skinny figure, but I really like this figure. Again, I don't know why a lot of people disliked it. I mean, let me know in the comments below, do you guys like this Spider-Man sculpt? Because me personally, I do. I think it's great. I'll do a little comparison here with him really quick. Here he quick. is uh, side by side against the superior Spider-Man from the new um, Spider-Man Legends. And you can see he is a bit taller than uh, the superior Spider-Man, but that's what he looks like uh, close up right there with him. Of course, I prefer the t articulation on the Spider-Man on the right. And there you have it, guys. This is my quick little review on the Scarlet Spider Raccoon Series uh Spider-Man or Scarlet Spider, Marvel Legends, I should say. Again, I like this figure. I like the sculpting on him, except maybe just the hand because it's a little bit too big. And I love the paint on him. So I'm not disappointed with this figure. I do like it. So I don't mind having a lot of different Spider-Man um, outfits with uh, 
this body mold it's it's good i like it and i like how the eyes look and how it's sculpted on i really love the head sculpt on this guy uh you can find this guy on big bad toy store i think it's like 8.99 so it's pretty cheap and you can find them in stores too you can find the series uh still in stores all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh this is seha man stay tuned because i got a lot more figures coming up on the way thanks for watching guys